good afternoon YouTube and Jay back with another review. This time we're going to be looking at the Generations Scourge Mold. As you can see in jet mode, it's a stealth bomber. It does maintain the landing gears. They don't roll or anything. It's got the Generation 1 type nose cone and the head does pop up in case you want to show that off in robot mode. I know he did it. I still think it looks creepy. But pop her down. And to transform it. Separate the wings out. And actually, this is a good time to go ahead and open them up. And that's the storage for the weapons. Ditto for that. Kind of slows so forward. Push down right here. That'll pop that hinge off the legs so the legs are open freely. You're going to want to push, flip in the landing gears. Not sure if it's because I gotta. There we go. Pull that up so it separates. It's gonna disconnect your legs. Pull that. Just pull straight down on the legs, and you'll be able to separate them out. Now the legs are gonna be on this weird. I don't want to call it a chicken leg thing because it doesn't really look like it, but it was just designed oddly. Now with the feet, push straight out and then flip them forward and you'll get the heels first and then it'll lock into place same on the other side push it out flip it down and pull the legs till they're straight pull that down come around here push up flip that open to get your head into place Pull out on the arms a little bit, snap that up into place, and then come back around, lock the head into place, and you can position his head as high, however high you want it. Rotate around the waist, come back around here, pull out, push down, and then you'll accordion that, there's two pegs See if I can get them, the, my lighting. There's a peg there, a hole there. Lock them in. Now, this is one of the coolest transformation gimmicks, I thought. Well, not gimmicks, but how they did it. Pull this out. Flip the arms. Rotate it around. And rotate the arm down. And click it back into place. Then slide out the hands from the bottom. And then do the same thing again. Pull out, flip around, lock it in. Rotate that around and push out. Now around in the back. Rotate that up. And this is where you get some choices about what you want to do with the wings. You can leave them widespread depending it's all a personal preference thing or you could fold them in, accordion them in flip that out and then they're fully rotatable uh, for scourge I'm going to do it like this I am going to uh, <laughs> I have technically three versions. I will have three versions of this mold. I have this one. I have the United one ordered in case the colors are different. And I have the Yabby one. So one of them will probably be a sweep. I could turn into a sweep. That I'm thinking about doing teal. And then, or I have a um, Bleach Custom commissioned from uh, Dark Cave Customs. 
that this might be a possible mold use of. So it'll all come down to what some final decisions are. Uh, bring this around. You have a single gun, or double barrel gun if you want to have it like that. Fold out the pistol. So there's your pistol look. And then you also can clip that on. Have the double barrel, or the triple barrel. It's kind of what I've been doing with them. Because I think it looks the nicest. And it's easier and more compact. For posability, his head is on a ball joint. Though it's restricted because of his beard and the neck collar. It's got a good mate range for up and down though. Uh, shoulders rotate and swivel. There's no bicep swivel. It's single elbow, but has some pretty good range of motion. Rotation at the wrist. Uh, hip rotation because of transformation. Uh, ball joint and knees. Rotation at the thigh. Single jointed knee and a ball joint and ankle. So all in all, he's a very poseable figure. Uh, definitely one of my favorites of the line so far. Just looks really cool. So, for size comparison, there he is with Cyclonus. I know, it had to be done though. And then some others from the line is third. So he's a little bit taller based on the gun than their wing, and definitely shorter than Cyclonus, who's just a really tall deluxe. But all in all, definitely some nice looking figure. A nice looking figure. Uh, as soon as he's officially released, I say pick him up without question. If you like Crystal Transformers, I'd say maybe pick up the Decepticon clear kit for e -Hobby. But in some way, shape, or form, make sure you get this mold. Especially, like I said, if you like Decepticons, you'd like the Season 3 stuff. He's gonna look great. Uh, I can't wait to have my Unicron custom done, so that way I have him, Unicron, and Gal Galvatron, Cyclonus all together. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.